What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks, and today I'm gonna be bringing you my first battles in the Fusion Cup. Um, you can see I have my team up on the screen there. This was thrown together extremely fast and pretty much just by looking at PV Pokes ranking list um, for the Fusion Cup and building my team from that. So definitely you're gonna want Altaria on your team. It seems to be one of the meta defining Pokemon within this cup. And just from these first couple of battles that I have done, it really seems like this cup is feeling a little bit more hard countery, kind of rock, paper, scissors like um, compared to Timeless. Timeless felt uh, pretty wide open in the meta and there was a lot of different routes that you can take. And while this is, uh, this Fusion Cup doesn't seem near as restrictive as like the Kingdom Cup did with the rock, paper, scissors, um, it, it definitely has a little bit of that vibe for sure. Altaria is going to be your main threat, so you're going to need something that hard counters that. A lot of people um, use Whiskash or Bronzong to threaten Altaria. Fun fact, with Whiskash you can just go straight Blizzard and win that matchup, which is pretty hilarious. Um, that's just how crazy fast Mudshot charges his charge moves. It's incredible. But I'm actually opting to use Alolan Sandslash and Bronzong as kind of my two um, hard checks to Altaria. And then, obviously, you're going to need something that counters the, the anti-flyers. So I'm running Heracross and Venusaur. Um, Venusaur to, to handle any water grounds they might have, like Swampert, for example, in this first example. Um, or Whiskash, which is definitely going to be the most popular Mud Boy in this cup, for sure. Uh, Heracross, since that close combat buff happened, is absolutely insane. Um, and I believe there, there might be a match in this video where <laughs> like Heracross just sweeps a team of three. Um, close combat, I believe, uh, drastically lowers your defense, but your attack still stays really high. So... Um, Looking back on some of these battles, one thing I learned that if you're going to go for those close combats, charge up enough energy to where you can throw two back to back, so then you're not going to be vulnerable with your defense lowered and, and taking a bunch of extra damage with your lowered defense. So that's one tip I learned from this. But if you look at my team of six here, and you look at Lou Altinder's team of six, there's a one glaring weakness that I have. Uh, and it's a weakness to Alolan Marowak, um, because holy cow, that thing is going on a killing spree right here in, in this round. It's going to shred my Alolan Sandslash, it's going to shred my Venusaur, it's going to shred my Heracross, which you just did there. See you later, Heracross. <laughs> and I got, I got nothing in this line of three that I brought in that can handle this Alolan Marowak, so horrible team comp on my part. It's also going to do... Uh, a good amount of work to my Bronzong for sure when it's running Fire Spin and Bone Club and Shadow Ball. All those things are going to be hitting Bronzong for super effective damage. So this was just a t this was a total fail of a match right here. Um, but the thing I learned is holy crap! You got to watch out for a Lowland Marowak because that thing is brutal. And just from what I've seen um, on some simulations that I ran and some battles that I've done. I'm, I'm thinking Alolan Marowak might be the king fire type within this cup. You can beat Charizard by just going straight Shadow Ball, um, and having that Shadow Ball damage, you can at least chip away at Altaria if you get stuck in that matchup. Um, and the Fire Spin and then the Bone Club bait is just such a um, amazing combination. So. I'm definitely going to be running Alolan Marowak in my line of six for some upcoming videos. Um, and it's, it's very bulky, it's just a, a really good choice. I, I feel like it might be the king fire type in this cup. Lots of people are going to be using Charizard, I feel, because it has access to that Dragon Claw, which is another threat to Altaria. Um, but as I've learned in, in that matchup as well, Altaria is crazy bulky. Charizard does not get stab on Dragon Claw, and so it really only does like 30% of your health from what I saw. Um, granted that my opponent was getting excellence on Dragon Claw, I don't know. It did not do near as much damage as I thought when, when I was uh, in that matchup the other day. 
I'm also running Marsh Stomp instead of Swampert or Whiskash, and there's not a whole lot of logic behind that. Uh, the nice thing is, is that you have access to a bunch of charge moves that are all the same energy. You get Surf, you get um, Mud Bomb, and you get Sludge. And I believe all of these moves are 40 energy, and they're all uh, really solid moves. It definitely makes Marsh Stump um, able to cover a lot of things. But I looked up the simulations, and uh, if you are the Marsh Stomp and you're stuck against an Altaria, you would think that maybe going for Sludge, a, a neutral hitting move, would uh, do more damage. But in reality, uh, Surf, because it's such a good move and it gets Stab, you should still just uh, go straight Surf against that Altaria. Um, I believe Sludge might do one more damage, um, but it, it was pretty comical when I saw that in the simulations. But I'm running my Marsh Stomp with Surf and Mud Bomb. It's crazy spammy. I got my Bronzong in here going for the Psy Shock against that Alolan Sand Slash. It is going to be resisted, but it's just enough to take it out. And my Bronzong is super low health here. Bronzong is going to resist everything that Altaria has, which is really nice, but I don't have enough gas in the tank to take out that Altaria at all. So those were my first matches against Lou Altinder there. It made uh, just a bunch of stupid mistakes, but hey, we're just feeling out the meta and, and seeing what's good. I'm in a Bronzong mirror match, and <laughs> because of that little Twitter notification, I am now behind in fast moves, which is pretty hilarious. I went to swipe it out of the way, and then my phone like would not register my fast move there, but it doesn't matter. It's all, all just practice. He went for the Psy Shock bait, uh, bait there. These battles are against Fonzie17. We've seen him on the channel a bunch. I'm able to land the Bulldoze, which is amazing. And I'm hoping that this Bronzong is getting very close to being in Psy Shock range. I know this is going to be a Bulldoze, but I don't feel comfortable committing both my shields. We see MP Tie there. Going for the Psy Shock, hoping to draw a shield. I do not get a shield, and that's not enough to take it out. So, not super great. I do win the lead matchup, even though I was behind in fast moves. But Charizard's going to come in and farm up the perfect amount. But this is where Marsh Stomp is really going to go on a tear here. And I was, I was kind of thinking in my head, um, Marsh Stomp versus like Swampert. Why the heck would I go Marsh Stomp? Um, one reason is because of the spammability of Mud Bomb. Whereas with Swampert, you're locked into that Earthquake. With, um, with Marsh Stomp, you're able to throw either Surf or Mud Bomb, and both of those are very spammy. But... Swampert has access to Hydro Cannon, which I believe is the same energy cost as Surf and Mud Bomb, 40 energy, but does way more damage. It's just a, a better move overall. And then I was thinking, well, maybe Marsh Chomp is a little tankier, a little bulkier than Swampert. Uh, it is, barely. Um, it's still not, not the tankiest Pokemon at all. Um, so it doesn't really win in that regard. Here you can see I'm just going straight Surf's. Because um, I feel like that's the better move in this scenario. He lands the Dragon Pulse. Surprisingly, I survive that. Going for another Surf here. Still not enough to take out Altaria. Altaria is just crazy bulky. Fonzie is uh, using a Polyrath on his team. I did a bunch of matches against uh, one of my other friends. I believe that video you'll see tomorrow. But he was also running a Polyrath, and I am definitely on the Polyrath hype train, man. <laughs> uh, the fact that you can just spam those ice punches and dynamic punches, knowing that Altaria is going to be the main threat in this cup, uh, every Pokemon you bring in, I kind of want a little bit of coverage that could threaten Altaria. And so uh, Polyrath definitely has that with the ice punch, and even against its hardest counters, like grass types or um, confusion users, like Bronzong, for example, you're going to be able to threaten them with um, neutral or super effective damage. Your ice punch against the grasses and your dynamic punch is going to hit Bronzong for neutral and still do a, a huge chunk of damage. So I feel like nothing is going to absolutely wall Polyrath. You do have a Alolan Marowak to watch out for, and now that you're not running Bubble, um, most people are going to be running Mudshot, but... Uh, I guess there is a case to be made uh, if Alolan Marowak really starts popping up a bunch in the meta 
Maybe you could run Bubble on your Polyrath and kind of see how that affects some of its other matchups. See if it'll still have a decent matchup against Altaria, see if it'll still have an okay matchup against the Grass types, or maybe it's Mudshot that really gives it uh, its utility in this cup because of the spammability of the charge moves. Going for straight mud, mud Bombs here against this Bronzong, which would be super effective. And I bring in my Heracross here. I believe because of my bug and uh, fighting typing that psychic moves are only neutral damage to me. Uh, and I'm sure if I'm wrong, someone will correct me in the comments. <laughs> um, this Charizard is able to get this Dragon Claw off before I can get another Surf, which is unfortunate, but it's definitely going to take me out there. Good games there, Fonzie. Charizard is uh, definitely... Definitely a solid pick. The fact that it has Dragon Claw is just really nice to threaten Altaria. But I am, at least for fire types, I am all aboard the Alolan Marowak hype train. Uh, and for fighting types, I definitely am aboard the, the Polyrath hype train. Heracross is so much fun to use with that close combat. Man, it just hits so hard. And now that it dropped its energy cost a bunch, it's it's super fun to use. The counter damage is amazing. I really enjoy using fighting types that have access to counter because it's such a great fast move and there's a lot of farm down potential with that fast move. Um, but in the simulations, Polyrath is looking really nice. So we'll have to test it out. I am a huge proponent of uh, don't just rely on the numbers, don't just rely on the sims, but try it out and get a feel for it. I definitely learn the most through battling, not through studying the numbers. And there definitely have been some scenarios where um, I, I've like studied the matchup on PV Poke, I've ran simulations, but then when I, I test it out in battle, the outcome is slightly different. Um, because someone might have an energy advantage or I might be switching in. So um, there's a lot of things you can learn by battling that, that you cannot learn by studying the numbers. So get that real life experience. Don't just rely on calculations and, and simulations. Practice as much as you can. That's the only way to improve for sure. Get a lot of practice in. Got my Marsh Stomp on his Bronzong here. The move is definitely just go straight Mud Bombs. Those are going to be hitting it super effective. And it's crazy spammy. So I'm going for another Mud Bomb here. It's able to take out that Bronzong. I'm up a shield and he's got Charizard in the back. So Marsh Stomp is gonna do even more work to this. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get to two Surfs because uh, one Surf is not gonna be able to take it out. But he's able to get to this Dragon Claw. Uh, I do commit my shield here because I feel like I should be able to get to this Surf or my Mud Shot actually fainted him down there. So. Um, even though Mudshot is not the best move for fainting down, it does not do nearly as much damage as some other fast moves. Its energy generation is absolutely amazing. All right, these next matches are against my friend LA718. So look at his team of six, and look at my team of six really fast. Which Pokemon on my team has a ridiculous number of positive matchups? I'll give you three seconds to figure it out. If you said Heracross, you are absolutely right. Oh my gosh, Heracross has insanely good matchups against Alolan Sandslash, Shiftree, Babarel, Magnazone. I'm even comfortable leaving it in against uh, Bronzong. So I capitalize on this fact, and I believe I bring Heracross in every match. This might even be the game where Heracross just goes on a, a massive sweep here. We'll see. I go for the close combat. Um, because I've stacked two close co combats one on another. And so now I feel comfortable dropping my defense. I get both shields there, holy cow. And my counters are doing double super effective damage. Fighting is super effective against ice and steel, both of which are Alolan Sand Slash's typing. So my, my Heracross goes down there, but boy, it did some work. It drew both shields, it won the lead matchup. And now my Marsh Stomp is able to spam this Mud Bomb before that uh, Alolan Sand Slash is able to throw anything. He's got Shift Tree in the back, super bad for my Marsh Stomp. 
but Altaria is just going to come in and be a wall. Even though those foul plays are going to hit for pretty strong, I don't shield this because I want to see how much damage foul play does. Does like 35% it looks like, so respectable, but man, if you're the shift tree, you're absolutely going to lose this match. You can see how much damage sky attack does here. Shift tree is not bulky at all. If I am going to run a grass type, uh, it is most likely going to be Venusaur. I love that Sludge Bomb is going to be hitting for neutral on, on some of Venusaur's hardest counters. Um, and so I, I definitely enjoy that. And Frenzy Plant is just a ridiculously good move. So here's a matchup that I believe those confusions again are only hitting for neutral. Still adding up a lot for sure. So I, I switch into my Marsh Tomp. He switches in his Magnezone, which, guess what? <laughs> These Mud Bombs are double super effective. So I believe that was a, uh, a misclick on his part, because you can see it just one-shotted that Magnezone, which is insane. And now I have my Marsh Tomp against his Bronzong, which kind of leads me to believe uh, maybe he has Alolan Marowak in the back, something else that is weak to my Marsh Tomp. Because Bronzong is definitely not the best answer to Marsh Stomp. Again, these Mud Bombs are going to be hitting super effective, and I'm going to be able to rip them off super fast. This is most likely going to be a Psy Shock. I do shield that up, and I'm going to hope that I can Mud Shot down this Bronzong. I am able to get it, which is great. And what's in the back is an Alolan Marowak. So um, he brought in three things that are... Um, relatively weak to uh, the Marsh Stomp there, <laughs> uh, which is pretty brutal because Marsh Stomp just went to town. Again, uh, this was just me trying out stuff for the first time. I, I don't think I'm actually going to be using Marsh Stomp as my uh, Mud Boy. It's most likely going to be Whiskash, so I still have some nuke potential with Blizzard, uh, and then you still have the spam ability of Mud Bomb as well. And I believe you can still uh, somewhat hold your own against the Charizard matchup, even though you don't have access to any water moves, unless you're crazy spicy and you run Water Pulse on your Whiskash. But able to take that match there. I believe we got one more match in this video. Magnezone was one of the Pokemon that just learned um, the new move Mirror Shot, I believe it, it's called. And it has a, a debuff chance. Uh, it's a steel type move that has a debuff chance. And it's, uh, it's a relatively inexpensive energy. I believe it's like 35 energy for 35 damage. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I get my hair across on this barrel, and this is absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna totally commit to fast moving this down. Gonna shield the Surf, but just my counter damage alone destroys that barrel. I have so much energy banked up, it's ridiculous. This might, this might be the match. All right, Heracross is just gonna go to town. <laughs> if this close combat lands, Magnezone can uh, say goodbye. But I have two close combats stacked back to back. I definitely think that is the way to do it if you're running close combat so you don't um, get like majorly dropped in your defense. Now my defense has been dropped a lot, but I'm gonna commit a shield here. <laughs> Uh, and try it. I'm able to farm down that Magnezone. What does he have in the back? It's a Lowland Sand Slash. You ready to see this thing get one-shotted? It is beautiful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Heracross just swept that team at three. Heracross is amazing, but I'm definitely going to give Polly Wrath some love for sure. Let me know what you guys think of this new Fusion Cup. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.